As when the sun above a dusky wold springs into sight and turns the gloom to gold, lights with his magic beams the dew-decked bowers and wakes to life the gay responsive flowers, so now o'er realms where darkening dullness lies, in solar state see shining plunket rise. Monarch of fancy, whose ethereal mind mounts fairy peaks and leaves the throng behind, whose soul untainted bursts the bounds of space and leads to regions of supernal grace. Can any praise thee with too strong a tone, who in this age of folly gleamst alone? Thy quill, Dunsany, with an art divine, recalls the gods to each deserted shrine. From mystic air a novel pantheon makes, and with new spirits fills the meads and breaks. With thee we wander through primeval bowers, for thou hast brought earth's childhood back and ours. How leaps the soul with sudden bliss increased, when led by thee to lands beyond the east, Sick of this fear in crime and conflict old, We yearn for wonders distant and untold. O'er Homer's page a second time we pour, And rack our brains for gleams of infant lore. But all in vain, for valiant though we strive, No common means these pictures can revive. Then dawns Dunsany with celestial light, And fulgent visions break upon our sight. His bark enchanted each sad spirit bears To shores of gold, beyond the reach of cares. No earthly trammels now our thoughts may chain, For childhood's fancy hath come back again. What glittering worlds now wait our eager eyes, What roads untrodden beckon through the skies, Wonders on wonders line the gorgeous ways, And glorious vistas greet the ravished gaze. Mountains of clouds, castles of crystal dreams, Ethereal cities and Elysian streams, Temples of blue where myriad stars adore Forgotten gods of eons gone before. Such are thine arts, Dunsany, such thy skill, That scarce terrestrial seems thy moving quill. Can man and man alone successful draw Such scenes of wonder and domains of awe? Our hearts, enraptured, fix thy mind's abode. In high Pagana, hail thee as a god. And sure can aught more high or godlike be Than such a fancy as resides in thee. Delighted Pan, a friend and peer, perceives, As thy sweet music stirs the sylvan leaves. The nine transported bless thy golden lyre, Approve thy fancy, and applaud thy fire, Whilst Jove himself assumes a brother's tone, And vows the pantheon equal to his own. Dunsany, may thy days be glad and long, Replete with visions, and attune with song. May thy rare notes increasing millions cheer, Thy name beloved, and thy memory dear. Tis thou who hast in hours of dullness brought New charms of language, and new gems of thought. Hast with a poet's grace enriched the earth, With orate dreams as noble as thy birth. Grateful we name thee, bright with fixed renown, The fairest jewel in Hibernia's crown.